Kai Sanat was overcome with emotion while speaking on his former cameraman's inappropriate communication with an underage girl. On Tuesday, the popular streamer shared his reaction to being informed that his former collaborator, reportedly named Chris, had knowingly sexted a 17-year-old girl after being made aware of her age. During the stream, Sanat disassociated himself from the cameraman quite forcefully, whom he claims helped him build his platform and was really integral to his success thus far. He further went on to say that the victim, now 19 years old, reached out to him personally with evidence backing up her claims against the cameraman. It's confirmed, all right? All that shit is confirmed, and I'm just sick and tired of having to do shit like this. Senet continued to further distance himself from his cameraman's behavior, adding, it's just not right to do. You can't have no excuse for it. According to the victim, the exchanges between her and the cameraman started from December 2021 until February or March the following year and began when he messaged her on social media, writing, I actually want to get to know you. In return, the teenager responded, claiming she was actually 17, but he persisted, and both their messages stayed focused on video games as he challenged her to play Call of Duty. However, the cameraman would later send the victim explicit iMessage texts, graphically expressing his desire to have sex with her, which she would later reveal to Sana. Later on, for those who don't know, my cameraman, Chris, the nigga that helped me with mad at my streams, mad at my tech shit, mad at my shit. Apparently, um, nigga, it's not even apparent, nigga. It's here, clear as fucking day. In 2021, just got caught talking to a minor who was 17 years old. And it's just fucking annoying when shit happened. And shit come my fucking name every time, bro. I get connected in situations. Come and relax, bro. Apparently in 2021, this nigga, this nigga was caught talking to somebody that's not the age of consent. Nigga, it gets bad because she lied about her age. She said she was 19. She lied about her age. She ended up saying her age. Said she was 17. Right then on the, right then on right at that moment, you're supposed to stop texting. Right at that moment, you're supposed to drop all conversation. Anything that's below that's below the age of consent, you're not supposed to talk to them. It is not cool. You're not supposed to talk to them. You're not supposed to do anything. You're not supposed to engage in any conf uh, any conversation. Not on a different type of like. You're not supposed to just. It's just not right to do. And none of this shit is is fucking. You can't have no excuse for it. You can't have nothing. You can't have no say so. There's nothing to back this shit up. There's nothing in a positive way to to do this. When I seen this shit hit the internet, I was I just woke up. I seen this shit hit the internet. I looked at it, first thing I did was say, hey, let me sit down and let me get down to the bottom of this to completely confirm everything, everything. I reached out to the person who went online and did all the other shit. Um, I reached out to her and shit, and she basically, see, she showed me every single thing. Um, I asked her to confirm the iMessage, to confirm the number. It's confirmed, all right? All that shit is confirmed. And I'm just sick and tired of having to do shit like this because it's like, damn, my nigga, like, 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 just like, like, I don't know how people are not just seeing something or like an age or something and just saying and just stopping. You feel me? It was just some messages that it's, it's like a, it's some messages that looks fucking crazy, bro. You feel me? I'm not, I'm gonna keep it. I'm not sugarcoating shit. The shit look fucking crazy, bro. It turned out to him being flirtatious and then texting me wild shit you shouldn't say to a minor, she wrote in her message to the Bronx native. During this time, I just turned 17, she added. Senate says he has taken steps to rectify the situation created by his former cameraman and will be taking more of his content creation into his own hands in light of this. I gotta start doing shit on my own, he told his viewers while voicing his respect for the victim's privacy. And I reached out to the person and shit like that. And I made sure to get her side. She wanted to be anonymous and crap like that. 
So I'm going to figure this crap out. I'm going to figure all of this crap out. Like, comment, share, and subscribe for more exclusive content from the Red Carpet Reup. See you next time.